Validation criteria is something we mention a lot when we discuss amulet technology. So let's run through some examples to really understand what this is all about. You may have seen this page on our website displaying an extensive list of validation criteria options, but may not have understood these or how you'd use them. In this video, we're going to cover a few different criteria in very simple terms. This should provide you with a clear understanding of the flexibility and power of amulet technology and how you might leverage it for your own uses. So what does all this mean? Criteria are used to define access requirements to an amulet protected digital asset, meaning if a digital environment meets all the criteria, then access is granted to the asset. If any criteria are not met, access is denied. That's really all we're talking about here. So let's pick one of the criteria options to use as an example. Let's start with the files criteria. It's probably one of the simplest to understand and to visualize. As with the others on the list, files has a ton of options. You can require the existence of a specific file in a specific location, or require that a specific file must not exist. You can specify the file name using the root, file prefix, wildcards, as well as require specific metadata. There are a lot of options and all can be mixed and matched. We're going to use the requirement of a file and a location for our example. Let's say we want to make sure that in the C drive, in a folder named My Works, there's a file named abcd.xyz. If the system meets this criteria, then our asset will be accessible, otherwise it won't. The thing to remember is Amulet technology is dynamic and the criteria is evaluated every time access is attempted on the digital asset. So if you start out with the file in place, the protected asset will be accessible, but if the file later gets removed, that asset will no longer be accessible. So you may be wondering if this example is valid. It's so simple. And is it secure? The answer to both questions is yes. As long as no one knows the file or the location or any specifics, it's secure. The danger is that it's easily mimicked if anyone were to figure it out. So it's not one we're necessarily recommending, at least not as the only criteria you define. But it is a very simplistic example to help begin to understand what we mean by access criteria, how it relates to accessing secure assets, and the dynamic nature of amulet technology. So let's try another example, selecting a different criteria group. Let's use GPS location. GPS uses polygon sets to define one or more areas. Validation can use inclusion of a location or exclusion, meaning valid if the location is within the polygon, or it could be valid only if it's not within the polygon. Again, these can all be mixed and matched to meet your needs, as well as being mixed and matched with any other criteria. Let's say we have a polygon mapped out. Maybe it's our business building location. We can use the GPS criteria to define something such as if we want somebody to only be able to access a file when they're within the confines of that location. This might be a case for company sensitive files that are restricted from off-premises access. Hopefully you're getting the hang of this, but remember we're using super simplified examples and the actual criteria can be multiples mixed and matched across criteria groups to come up with exactly the situation needed. So let's try one more. Let's take a look at the time criteria group. Time also includes dates and can define allowed or prohibited windows of use. These windows can be repeated. So like times of the day, days of the week, certain holidays, etc. Let's say we have an application that uses costly external resources. On weekends, the price doubles and between four and 6 p.m. is another premium time. So we don't want anybody using the application between four and 6 p.m. on any day and not at all on weekends. With Amulet technology, that's no problem. To find out more information, please explore our website at certitudedigital.com and make sure to check out the growing list of use case examples and our other videos.